In this video we share Our Lady's plan for peace in Ukraine. The mystic Josip Terelia spent 20 years in a Soviet gulag camp for his faith, during which time he experienced various apparitions of the Blessed Mother as well as the Archangel Michael. The following report was sent to Spirit Daily from Josip Terelia on a visit to his beloved homeland in the Ukraine. On August 27, 2002 two girls, Mariana Kabal age 9, and Alina Kaitser age 10, saw the Blessed Virgin Mary by the spring at Zeblik, a small hamlet situated between the not much bigger villages of Vilchivka and Lower Nushan Deep in Transcarpathia. Ukraine and the Ukrainian Church are fighting incessant attacks from the demon that is destroying the country both spiritually and economically. These self-same attacks are observed at all places that serve as home to Christians. When the children asked the Blessed Mother why she had come to them, the reply was as concise as it was all-encompassing. I have come to help you, so that all may be one. I wish to give new life to the authority of priesthood, so that faithful shepherds may once again guide believers to the flock of my only son. I have come to help you unite divided Christianity. I have come to save, as my son before me, all humanity. For I will remain here until the time when all the people of Ukraine are united into one faithful herd, until sin is washed off my people. This shall be the place of spiritual and physical refinement. Remember that you now live in the times of prophecy. I came to Ukraine in order to be here, in this holy place, and if it was allowed by the Holy Trinity to ask the Virgin Mary about the current state of affairs and whether America will receive the gift of peace. On the 15th of February, Lieutenant Mikola Kornienko and I arrived at the home of Father Peter Cabal, where I was to meet the two girls. With me I had brought rosaries sent by Cardinal Ratzinger and blessed by the Pope. The girls were angelic and shined with warmth and love of fellow Christians. God had unified love with these children, and what is more, allowed me to be in their presence. The Mass began after the rosary. It was attended by more than the flock of Bishop Ivan Margetic. The Holy Trinity and all the heavenly residents along with the faithful long departed took part in this Holy Mass. In prayer and full of hope I asked her what will become of Ukraine and whether America will be washed clean of sin and gain peace. In reply I heard the quiet voice of Mother Mary. Ukraine has a special mission from God. It is his secret and not everyone is meant to understand it. The time will come when Ukraine will be washed clean of sin and evil. At 10 o'clock in the evening I found myself at Zeblik with five other kneeling worshippers and several ill residents of Lviv and far away Odessa. At this point I had been praying for three hours and Mary had yet to answer my second question. What is to be the fate of America? My answer arrived at one in the morning in the form of laudanum scented light carrying the Virgin Mother of Christ. You must possess humility and patience for you also have a place in God's plan to the changes in Ukraine, she said. As to America, the Americans have forgotten that God has his own plan and it is not meant to be changed by anyone. All of earth belongs to the Lord who gave it to his people. He wants for humanity to obey and love him as do all parents. Today's humanity lives in the most painful of states, not only in America but in the whole world. Americans bear witness to how fallen angels, tempted by the devil, ruin family life and destroy faith and hope and love of God. And so, the earth is wrought with a battle between heaven and hell. The prophecies are being fulfilled. You see how professional politics in the ten developed nations of the capitalist world are too busy with secular issues, how to control the people and hold on to power. These politicians do not create material or spiritual valuables. Their political activity is an amoral acquisition of power and money, and these attract sinners. With the blessing of the Holy Mother, standing here before you at the gates of heaven, America and its people will become the image of goodness and enter through the gates of the new Jerusalem and the 21st century with peace and love. Amen. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.